Gentlemen, when it comes to your style, the line between perfectly put together and disastrously disheveled is a thin one. And so in an attempt to help you always look your best, today I'm going over 10 minor style mistakes that majorly ruin your look. So the inspiration for this video is actually a dude I saw the other day. He was walking towards me, right? And from a distance, I noticed him. I'm like, damn, he is sharp, he is put together, he looks incredible. From a distance, he looked incredible, but with each step that he got closer, Everything started to come into focus to the point when he got up on me, he looked super sloppy. His clothing was on point, but the details were a hot mess. And so now let's go over little things that make a big difference. Number one, how's your gig line? What the heck is a gig line? Great question, let me show you. It's basically the line between your placket and your fly. Is this in line? If it is over here, that is bad. If it is here in line along with your belt, it is good. Number two is something that I got going on right over here with this belt that I actually wear. Um, and that is a belt that has seen better days, all right? As you can see, this belt isn't like too bad, but one of the things that makes you look rough is when you've got a bunch of indentations on your belt. Another thing though that a lot of people don't address are these little scuffs and scratches. Check out all these scuffs and scratches on this belt. Now this belt was bought to match a brown pair of shoes that I own. But one thing that people don't realize that they can do is actually polish the belt when you polish the shoes. Check it out. Grab your polish that you use on the shoe and then just take a little bit. All right, get it on your rag and polish your belt. See all those scuffs and scratches? Right there. And then buff it, all gone. Number three, visible undershirts. Now in terms of visible undershirts, there are two different things that I'm talking about. One is when you wear a shirt unbuttoned, make sure that you're wearing a v-neck or a deep v undershirt. They do come in deep v. Um, but the other thing that drives me crazy is when I see somebody wearing like a white shirt and you can see the fact that he's wearing an undershirt in his sleeve. It's almost like it's translucent. One of the reasons why they make different colored undershirts is so that you can closely match the color of the shirt. But you can also find undershirts that match your skin tone to help hide them as well. Number four, worn out shoelaces. One of the benefits to experimenting with fun, colorful shoelaces is that A, they stay fresh, and B, you get to wear cool shoelaces. Number five, sweater balls. Over time, your nice sweaters get a little bit rough looking with little pills, little balls, or just an extra fuzzy appearance. The way that you remove it is a sweater shaver. A sweater shaver has a little guard, a blade behind it, and a little reservoir to catch the fuzz. Number six, muffin top. Muffin top is one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate it. I'm looking all super fly, super fresh. I'm in a fitted shirt, damn it, right? You think, oh, it's not gonna happen to me. Wrong. I used to think it was a hopeless losing battle to try and keep my shirt tucked in. I tried the military tuck. I tried tucking it into my underwear. It wasn't until I found today's video sponsor and the greatest invention in the history of looking sharp, KK and J. My mind was blown, my world was rocked, and my shirt has never looked better. You guys have heard me talk about KK and J a few different times. They're a sponsor of the Alpha M Project and one of my favorite inventions of all time. They didn't invent the shirt tail garter. They've been around for years. The military has been using it to keep them looking tight and fresh for ages. KK and J, however, has perfected them and in the process made them more comfortable and more stylish. So here's how they work. In each pack, you get two KK and J shirt tail garters, all right? You're gonna untuck your shirt, then you've got a front tail, you've also got a back tail. You're going to attach one end to the shirt here, another end to the back here. And then this other end, you're going to actually attach to the top of your sock. And then you attach the other one to the other side. It keeps your shirt tucked crazy tight in. It also keeps your socks up. But if you're somebody who goes sockless this summer, the good news is that they've got a shirt tail garter that works for sockless dudes as well. The result? Spin jump and my shirt stays tugged. Reach and my shirt stays tugged. Gray! It, it, it literally stays tucked in. And the reason is because of that dynamic tension that the shirt tail garter provides. The front, the back, the sock. Oh my God, is it comfortable? Yes, every dude needs a pair of KK and J shirt tail garters. The deal is you might not wear them every day, but you have them. So that time that you want to tuck in a shirt and look super fresh, bang, you pop it out. Everybody else, all your friends, and, and when I say all, Every single one of your friends is gonna have a muffin top. 
but not you. Gentlemen, not only that, these things are incredible in terms of the price. Under $25, there's a discount code, a link down below. Grab a pair today. While you're there, check out their suspenders. They've got incredibly badass, sexy suspenders, which is another essential. Every dude needs at least one pair of cool ass suspenders. I'm telling you, these things will change your life. Link below. Number six is your tie too long or too short? How long should it be? Great question. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Don't overthink it. Your tie should meet your waistband. All right? Not up here. You don't want shirt showing and not down here. You don't want to cover your buckle. Number eight is pant legs that are too long. When you've got a bunch of extra fabric down bunching at your ankles, it looks bad. It makes you look shorter and your pants look too big. Number nine is the floppy, pathetic sleeve roll. This looks terrible. Gentlemen, make it tight, make it look right. The way that I like to roll my sleeves the best is boom, pull it up right there and then tuck under all the way around. This or this. And last, but certainly not least, the 10th thing that is small, subtle, minor in terms of style, but major in terms of making you look like crap is lint. Gentlemen, invest in a lint roller so you are always looking fresh.